Okay, so without a doubt, one of my favorite animal making programs has got to be Bridge. I mean, Bridge has some really cool features. It now has custom syntax creation. It even has the ability of importing OBJ files directly into the program itself. And it's going to go and convert that into the Minecraft modeling format. And I tell you what, this is one of the most interesting features and also one of the most cursed features that you will probably see in Minecraft Bedrock. And so we're going to be looking at two add-ons that have been made with this new method so far. And we have ourselves a little apocalypse add-on, which was made by Deepflog Flag. And then we have ourselves one created by Burning Craft, which is a killer whale. So if I go ahead and place down the killer whale right here, look at that. Isn't this the most cursed thing that you've ever seen in Minecraft? I mean, probably not because there's like hundreds of thousands of cursed Minecraft things. But this is the most cursed thing I've seen within any add-on. And I have to say that making models in this type of format is going to make for a very interesting kind of add-on later down the road. I mean, there's going to be lots of add-ons out there that probably will try to use this out some way or another. But it's not really practical if you're making like a serious add-on. This is going to be more of a joke feature more than anything. But we also got ourselves the other add-on, which was created by the Flog Flag, which was Halo Apocalypse. Now for the Halo Apocalypse add-on, this basically makes standard Minecraft mobs look like Halo characters, such as the Flood, or Elites, or Grunts, or even the Master Chief. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So we have souls the zombie right here. If I just go ahead and come over here, place on the zombie, the zombie will of course burn in the daylight, so you're going to be seeing the Master Chief burn, but this isn't really Master Chief. This is basically going to be just a Spartan, so you can just go ahead and find him around the world. You can go ahead and fight them off if you really wanted to. But just look at the models of this. The model, it looks absolutely amazing. And the animations still work as well, which is also a really cool thing. We also got ourselves the skeleton, which the skeleton has been transformed into an elite. And look at the bow. The bow is going to be a plasma rifle. And so if I go in and come inside of here, we do have ourselves a bow right here. And the bow is going to be invisible, by the way. So you're not going to be able to notice it very well. But if you look closely, there is going to be a dot down there. But just look at that. We're actually holding a plasma rifle within actual Minecraft. That's absolutely amazing. Of course, it shoots arrows, so it's not absolutely perfect. For the Endermen, the Endermen are going to be the Sentinels. And the look of these guys look absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at the models on this. I still can't get my head around about how awesome the models and textures look. But, of course, we got ourselves the next one, which is going to be the bee. The bees are going to be 343 Guilty Spark. Now, I think it would have been really cool if the creator were to make it to where if you made one of these mad, their eyes would turn red, just like standard bees in Minecraft. But unfortunately, the textures only have the same texture, which I think is actually quite upsetting. The spiders are going to be grunts. Yeah, look at that. Look at the little grunt. We have grunts in Minecraft now. That's amazing. We have ourselves the cave spiders, which are going to be the flood carrier spores. And that looks really cool. We got ourselves the creeper. The creeper is going to be the flood infection forms. We have the pillagers, which the pillagers, they're going to be the infected elites. And the crossbow is going to be the assault rifle. So if I come inside of here, I'm going to go and grab the crossbow really quickly. And here we go. Let's go see our assault rifle. And there we go. Steve is holding an assault rifle. And he's ready and locked and loaded. Okay, that's pretty much it for that one. And then for the last one, it's going to be the stray. Which the strays, of course, we got to go ahead and come over here so they don't burn. But basically for the stray... They're going to be the infected Spartans or humans. All the swords have been changed. So if I go in and come inside of here, I'm going to go and show you this. So we have ourselves the wooden swords, the stone swords, the iron swords, the golden swords, the diamond swords, and netherite swords. And you can probably guess what the swords are going to be. They are the energy swords. Yes, we have energy swords in Minecraft now. I didn't even know that you could change the model for weapons. So, I mean, there is a new 3D item thing going around. And I still have not figured out on how 3D items work. But we do got ourselves the white energy sword, which is the wooden one. The stone one is going to be a purple sword. Iron is going to be green. Golden is going to be yellow. Diamond is going to be the standard blue color. And then we have netherite, which is going to be the red. And I think that red was from Halo 2, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely too sure. I can't really remember that much. From what I can take away from this entire add-on, it's absolutely crazy. Because I never thought that I'd be seeing Micro Bedrock get to the way it is with the model system. I never thought that we'd be seeing the ability of actually adding in these semi-realistic models. But anyway, I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments of what you think of these two add-ons. 
and what you think of this feature. If you want to go ahead and download these add-ons, there will be a link down below as always. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!